Hello, people of the internet. The time has finally come. Scott has made an official post on the Reddit talking about security breaches release date. Finally, no more people saying it's coming out this month, it's coming out next year, it's coming out this week, oh my god. We have the date. I have not read the message yet. This is gonna be my first time reading it. God, I can't believe I forgot to say this, but of course we're gonna be playing the game on the channel. So if you are new here, why not subscribe? Because you don't wanna miss it. It's the biggest FNAF game in the entire six year lineup. It's gonna be incredible. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, the text flare says coming 2021, so I guess I know when it's coming out now. Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about the release date for S. B. There has been some confusion about it since I listed 2020 as the release year on the first teaser, but now that's obviously looking less likely. We've talked about this before, and it seems like Scott is finally addressing it. Also, people have been messaging Steelwool, they've been DMing them, um, talking about that teaser, and they're like, oh, that's just fan art. Uh, don't trust that, you know, don't trust those messages, because clearly, they don't know what they're talking about. Now. I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence here by coming up with some lame analogy to explain what happened, so I'll just talk straight with you. Okay, Scott, what's going on? Again, I haven't read this yet. This is my first time. So, it's like I wanted to bake this cake, right? And Steelwall was like, hey, we can bake that cake. And I was like, it needs to be baked by Christmas. And they were like, we can bake it by Christmas. But then I checked the oven, like last month, and said, hey, Steelwall, this cake is like three times bigger than it was supposed to be. And they were like, yeah, it's gonna be great. And I was like, yeah, but it's not going to be baked by Christmas. It's still gooey in the middle, so we had to make a choice. Should we trim the cake and make it smaller for Christmas, or should we let the cake, let the cake, let the cake keep baking for a few more months, let, leave it as a three tier cake, and add frosting, ice cream, and sprinkles. We discussed and decided to let the cake keep baking. But hey, in all seriousness, I'm sorry that it's not ready as soon as I planned. These conversations did happen, sort of. When I got the first alpha, I actually did complain about the fact that the game was huge, and I didn't see any way it could get finished on time. It's a huge and ambitious game, and with the added complications of everyone walking from home this year, it just wasn't going to be ready in time for Christmas, without cutting content. But I wasn't willing to do that because it all looked amazing. Wait to see Montgomery Gators GOLF COURSE- WHAT THE FRICK?! As it stands now, 2021, it will be worth the wait. Early 2021, not late 2021. Okay. So, again, this- that was my first time reading it. I- I'm not sure how I feel about this post. Not the release date, right? I'm so goddamn happy that we finally have a release date so all these kids can just shut up and wait, even though I know that's not gonna happen, even though we have a release date. I'm a little upset that Scott used that analogy of the cake. I wish- I mean, I guess he was serious, but I don't know. So in the end, it was just too big, it seems like, and Scott wasn't happy with the game being that big, which is really interesting. Um, new golf co course confirmed. No clue why. Uh, so we have a laser tag, a cinema, a pizza restaurant, a golf course. What else do we have? I forget, but we have a lot more areas. Um, God, it's gonna be incredible. I, I'm very surprised that Scott was upset that it was so big, you know? Also, this confirms there was an alpha, and I know a lot of people were talking about it back in the day. Some people still talking about it now. I never made a video on it just because I didn't feel like it was necessary. But Jack Black, when he said, game review review, I just played the new FNAF game, looks pretty good, mate. He said it exactly like that, of course. Um, I feel like he probably played that alpha then. I don't think he got, you know, the game early and people were like, oh, they're just adding finishing touches. That's why it's taken a bit. I'm 100% sure he got that alpha. Why he got it, I don't know. I'm not here to talk about that right now. I'm here to talk about the release date. I am not bothered that it's 2021. Um, I will say, I was not expecting it to be 2021, especially when Scott put up that teaser, which I still think came out way too early. I think, I don't know man, it's interesting. The marketing for this game has just been not the best, and I, I do wish Steelwall and Scott had said something sooner than mid-November of 2020, you know, saying, oh, it's not coming out this year. You know, god, wait, what, what was Scott's line? Obviously looking less likely. I like how he says, I'll talk straight with you, and then it goes into this huge an analogy about cake. <laughs> like, a half, right? A little bit less than half of this post is talking about cake. 
and it's just a bit weird. So it seems like the game is three times what they wanted. Late 2020 would have been better as a release date in that first teaser, um, but at the same time, I guess it's not Scott's fault because Steel Wool went way too freaking crazy. And it, it honestly, it seems like Scott is a bit annoyed with Steel Wool, you know, about how this game has taken a long time, how it's way too big, you know, he didn't want the game to be this big, but it's, it's really interesting to see him not complain, but like just, it seems like he's a bit frustrated, you know, which is understandable, but at the same time, Scott, you gotta take, you know, you gotta take the hit yourself as well. You can't just talk about Steel Wool here saying, oh, they made the game way too big, sorry guys. You are monitoring this game, <laughs> right? This is your franchise, you hired these guys, so, and when you, like, just communicate with us. Alright, and that's been the whole thing this year, especially with this game in particular, oh my god, is that we need communication, you know? We don't want little teases here. If the game is not looking like it's gonna be ready for 2020, then say it's not gonna be ready for 2020, or just get better timing schedules with your teasers. So when we get a teaser in August of 2019, saying the game is coming out in 2020, Specifically Christmas 22 like I don't know what to say. I'm not trying to attack Scott. I'm not trying to attack Steel. I'm just saying they need to do better with this. They need to be better with timing. They need to be better with marketing. They need to be better with communication. And I realize, and, and again, I always talk about this in, in security breach videos. The pandemic, of course, is a major factor here, right? Scott mentions it. The fact that they are all working from home. And of course, I feel like that totally affected marketing, that affected how the game was being developed. But at the same time, you're monitoring this game. In the end, I'm just happy that we're, we're not gonna have any more video- Hopefully we're not gonna have any more videos of people saying, Oh my god, it's coming out tomorrow! Because that's just the most annoying thing. But hey, that's YouTube. That's FNAF YouTube for you, Right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad we have a official release date. And I also can't wait for people to put out two minute videos saying, oh, here's the new release date. I'm going to be the first to put it out. Okay, bye bye It seems like I'm really upset in this video, but mainly I'm just relieved. I'm a little bit irritated by Scott and Steelwall and how they have handled the release dates and communication with this game, but I've talked about that a lot already in the video. I'm just so happy that we finally, 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 in mid-November, have a official release date. It does... To be fair, it does only say early 2021, which is like the first half of the year, so we're gonna have a bit to wait, but honestly that takes a lot of <laughs> stress off of me, because this final month, final like two months this year, would have been chaotic if Security Breach would have released alongside everything else that's going on. The new book, Scott's new game for the charity stream, the charity stream in general, hopefully UCN on consoles, hopefully a patch for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim on consoles. It would have just been a lot, but I'm really happy that it's coming out. Again, I'm not upset that it's coming out, that it's been delayed, which I guess I don't need to do this because it has been delayed. It's just a bit, I find Scott's wording here a bit interesting. Yeah, it just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I'm just talking at this point. It just seems weird, Scott's wording, and I wish both teams had handled it a lot better again even with the pandemic you gotta you gotta communicate to your fans so yeah that is the release date sorry for talking too much i just i talk when i want to talk so that's <laughs> that's how i do things around here so yeah early 2021 is the official release date for fnaf security breach i am very excited i'm very excited to see uh montgomery's gator gator's golf course i want to know What's up with that? Brand new area to explore, and hopefully this cake is going to be very, very delicious. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Smash the like and subscribe if you're new. Okay, bye bye Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.